This is gonna be a short video going over the clear heart model that you'll use to find the structures of the conduction system. So it's showing this model in clear, and it does show some blood vessels on the outside, but we're gonna look at these structures that are in yellow. Those are showing us the electrical types of cells that are embedded within the contractile cells. So sending the signals to the muscle cells. So in the right atrium, okay, for orientation, here's that superior vena cava coming into the right atrium here. At the top of that is gonna be the SA node. And it's not necessarily gonna be a yellow dot that you're gonna see, but instead it's gonna be where these yellow lines are gonna be intersecting. So it's kind of where that intersection takes place. That's where you can identify as the SA node. And if you kind of follow these lines down, you will see a yellow dot at the bottom of the right atrium. That is the AV node, the atrioventricular node. So that's going to be at the bottom of the right atrium, kind of between the junction of the atrium and the ventricles. So you had sinoatrial node, you could say SA node, atrioventricular node, AV node, and then this yellow line is showing the atrioventricular bundle. You could also say AV bundle or bundle of his. So that's coming along through here. And in this model, it's showing it split pretty soon in the interventricular septum. So that bundle is gonna split into the bundle branches through there. You have one that goes to the right side, to the left side. You just have to identify it as bundle branches. And then as it curves up here through the walls of the ventricles, these smaller fibers are all described as the Purkinje fibers. You could also say the subendocardial conducting network, or you could call it the Purkinje fibers. All right, so those are the structures to know on this clear heart model.